Hi everyone! So today will be an update on my color pencil journey. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave links down below to sort of like the beginning of my color pencil journey where Lark actually introduced me to colored pencils. And that's how this all started and then I've been on a color pencil journey ever since. So if you have seen those videos, then you'll know what this is. This is basically what my color pencil friend sent me. Um, basically, you know, it's the whole 72 Prismacolor set. And also after that, they actually sent me some more pastel colors that were missing from the 72 set. And so now I have like so, so much now. Um, I have these and then um, as you can see, they're, they're like missing because I've been using them. And I've also put them in here. And with this setup that I have going on is basically some pastels here and then some like mm, mid-tone colors here. As you can see, some of them are getting a bit short now, but I still have a long way to go. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update that I'm really, really enjoying like using them. And I'm going to show you what I did. So, I colored this piece. So I didn't do the line art. So if you remember from my Taobao haul video earlier in the year, um, I'll leave a link down below to that haul video if you'd like to watch that. I bought some of these like, um, I wouldn't say card, but like they're A5 size pieces of artwork, like line art, and then I could color them in or like paint, I guess. They're, it's a bit, the paper is quite thick. I'm not sure how well it does with watercolor, but I wanted to do like, you know, color pencil on it because as you can see, like watercolor wouldn't have done well on it because there's a lot of details. So that's why I chose to use color pencil with it. And like, it turned out so well. I had so much fun coloring and like blending the colors. This was so, so, so much fun. However, I do feel like maybe coloring pieces like this may be not for me. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with it, but it was really tedious and it did take like a lot of time. I think it probably took me like at least maybe five sittings just to get it done, which I don't know, personally for me, I feel like I want to sit down, get something done and be like, wow, I painted something or like I created a piece, right? And that's that's usually how it goes for me. So even though this was fun to color in and like complete and like, you know, go through the whole process, I did feel like it was a bit too long for me. Like gratitude just came way too late for me. But yeah, I still have lots of these like sheets of line art left, so I... Like, if I'm into it, I might continue doing it. But for now, I'm going to show you what else I've been working on or like I've been like dabbling with with these colored pencils that has made me really happy. So this this, this is the Venezia sketchbook and I also showed this in the Taobao Art Hall. Ta-da! Can you see that? Oh, I'm sorry about the shaky camera. Can you see that? I used um, lilac and deco pink and it's a baby elephant, so cute. And I had so much fun like using the colored pencils, the, the Prisma colored pencils. So yeah, I had fun with this one too. And as you can see, this is my animal sketchbook. And this one I used 20% cool gray, um, pale sage and deco yellow. It's like a turtle or something. And then this one I'm not too, too proud of. Um, I don't know. It feels a bit messy to me, but I use light aqua lilac and deco pink. As you can see, it's sort of like the in the pastel-y range. And then this one I used, um, what was it? Lilac and then light aqua, I think. And then some violet, I don't remember. And then I used watercolor around it. So the watercolor was ultramarine pink and cobalt turquoise or like cobalt teal and then ultramarine blue up here. Yeah, so I've been really, really enjoying using the colored pencils for like this type of artwork. 
Um, I guess they're just sketches, but I get them done in one sitting, like each of them, you know, like this probably took me about um, 40, 40 minutes or 45 minutes, but like I was happy after I was done. So yeah, it's not as, you know, polished or like as colored in as something like this, but I had so much fun and I'm, I'm getting to like, you know, sketching animals, which is something I haven't really been doing, but yeah, I really like it. And I'm gonna show you something else that I've branched out into. Is that the right word? So basically because I'm like into color pencils now as like another form of medium, I actually bought this. Like I was just, you know, walking around and then I found it in the store. Um, it's called Rainbow. It's basically a rainbow colored pencil by Colleen. I'm not sure if you could see it. It was actually like printed with silver, but I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it was just imprinted, I don't remember. But yeah, so basically it's a rainbow colored pencil. Let me show you. I'll put like an image of the product. So as you can see, it's different from like Koinor magic colored pencils because those ones it's like color and then another color or like another tone and and like so as you're using it it becomes a different tone whereas this one each of the color goes straight down so you could actually choose and control which color you're using um, if i do that i think you could see it that it goes all the way down So I'm able to get a lot of control with this colored pencil and I liked it so much that I used up a whole pencil. Look! I mean, I tried sharpening it some more but I wasn't able to so this is the shortest that, like this is the most I could use and this is a new one that I started using already and it was so cheap that I actually bought like another two so I have one, two, and then three, four. So I have like four total. Um, I've stopped using this for now because I want to get back into these, but I'll show you what I created with this. Oh, by the way, Colleen is um, a, I believe it's a Japanese brand, but currently it's being manufactured in Thailand. Now, I'm not sure if it's like a Thai company now or what the situation is, but it is manufactured in Thailand now, so yeah, there's that. So I could get it for like pretty cheap. And here is what I've been doing with it. Don't you like it? And then I've done something like this, which I really like. And you guys, you know I like my like, you know, these pointy tops architecture stuff. So yeah, I really, like I've been really enjoying colored pencils lately. And this is probably like the most I've done in a long, long, long time. Like, I feel like colored pencils just click with me somehow. Yeah, so I've been having so much fun with it. Oh, by the way, like as you're looking at these, they look like I used regular colored pencils, but it's all this pencil. I'm serious, like the control is unreal. So see, you could see that I clearly like controlled using the red here and that's because of like, you know, how how it is. So this actually made me think that maybe I should buy the Koinor pencils, um, the magic ones. But then I took a look and then I looked at um, some reviews online. What is this? Yeah. And then I looked at some reviews online and how other people used it. And I saw that it's like a checkered pattern, like the pigment in the core is a checkered pattern and it's not like it doesn't go down the core like this like how this one is you know so if anyone knows of a brand that does like their colored pencil like this can you please let me know because yeah i don't know i feel like i really like this one but it is like cheaper quality and i go through it like super fast it's yeah, and it's not super pigmented, so I sort of want one that's like better quality. Or like, can we express to Koinor to make this type of pencil? 
I don't know. I feel like I could be like the brand ambassador or spokesperson if someone made a product like this. Yeah. Anyways, so basically that's where I'm at right now. Oh, I did actually also buy extra like more, not, not extra, but like more Prisma colors, which I haven't added into the case yet. But yeah, like, oh, by the way, I, like, um, I think this was lavender, is it? Yeah, so lavender here. I got a lavender that is going to be discontinued. I actually ordered two from this seller, but they only gave me one. Like, what? So anyway, I just got the one lavender, which is fine. I mean, I want it too, but it's okay, it's okay. And before I go, I just wanted to show you that I also got this electric pencil sharpener. <laughs> It was really cheap, like it's it's not expensive at all, and um, I got it because, I don't know, I found myself sharpening quite often, so I was like, hmm, maybe I should get like a better pencil sharpener, and also, you know, my tea gall, my the, the purple one that I got, it's somehow like breaking on me, like it doesn't sharpen properly anymore, like what? What happened? It don't, it's only been like a couple months, and it's already not sharpening properly, so I don't know what's happening there, but like, yeah, since that happened, I got this one. I, I mean, I'm still using the T-Gall, but it's it's a bit of a nightmare to use. So yeah, I got this one. It's, um, it's a local brand, or like, I mean, I don't know if you could get this in like other brands. Like, it might be white labeled, but it was really cheap. It was like, um, I don't know, I want to say like three US dollars approximately. So yeah, this has been working really, really well for me. I'm so happy I got it. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, so yeah, that's basically where I am on my colored pencil journey. Um, what do you guys think? Like, have I done well so far? I know like these blending isn't like 100% and also I feel like my color choices isn't 100% either. Like her skin is way too pink. <laughs> but anyway, like I've been really having so much fun with it having so much fun with like the colored pencil medium in general i feel like it's also helped me with watercolor as well because i feel like getting into colored pencil made me slow down my process and think about each and every stroke i make and like like coloring is different from like sketching but like with this sketching it really helps me like slow down and like think about each line that i make each shading and like what shapes to draw Whereas watercolor paint and like painting with watercolor in general, I feel like it's always rushed me somehow. And getting into colored pencils made me feel like I should slow down with watercolor a bit. Not as in like slow down as in um, stop painting, but slow down the process, you know? Like no need to rush with watercolors, just take your time, slow down and like think about each stroke as you make them, things like that. So I feel like this hasn't been just getting to know a new medium, but also using what I learned from it and what I get from it to apply into like other mediums that I'm using, which isn't much, it's just watercolor and colored pencils. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to like update you guys on that. And I also want to say a big thank you again to Lark as well as my pencil friend for introducing me to this medium and gifting me such lovely, lovely pencils to work with. Like, oh, I feel like if I had these ever since I was young, I'd, I'd be like, you know, I'd be soaring the skies by now. I mean, like, look, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with like what I've done so far. So yeah, hopefully I'll be putting up more artwork or, or like at least working on more artwork and maybe even possibly combining watercolor with colored pencils as well so we'll see what the future holds and for those of you who stuck to the very end thank you so so much for listening to me just blabber on and you know ramble so for those of you that stuck to the very end with me and has put up with me blabbering on and rambling on <laughs> thank you so much and i want to announce this giveaway right here it'll be for this Holbein set of pastel colored pencils. Oops. 
Um, so this is my set that I got from Jackson's, but the one that you'll be getting, I'll be ordering for you through Jackson's. That's just easiest because Jackson's has like, you know, cheaper shipping rates than from Thailand. So yeah, but this is what you'll be getting. Um, this is my set. I haven't used much of it yet because I've still been using my Prisma color pencils. But yeah, I really, really like the quality and I feel like, you know, I, I just want to pay it forward. Like, I really like color pencils now, so it's just... Yeah, I'm, I'm really passionate about it somehow now. And I want to give this set because I really, really like this set. So if any of you guys are interested in winning this set of Holbein colored pencils, 12 colors in the pastel tones, then I'm going to put up instructions on screen right now as well as down below in the description box below. So please do take a look at those and complete all of them. Last time I did a giveaway, I gave like three rules and some people did two and not complete three and i'm like how how can i enter you if you haven't completed all the things that i mentioned so yeah make sure you do all that i've instructed and so i could actually enter you into the giveaway okay well i don't really know how to end these type of videos so as always thank you so much for watching everyone don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated